This is what it looks like on Friday when we get done. We're getting ready to pressure wash it, clean everything up. You can see these mowers go through it. The uh, Toro right now has uh, 87.1 hours on it. And uh, Danny Boy and I are going to clean the decks out and we'll drop it down and we're probably going to change the blades also. Then we're going to uh, get ready to try some super clean on it and see how it does. See Danny Boy's uh, working on cleaning underneath of it out right now. Take the pressure washer to it, clean it up out underneath there. Uh, then we're going to uh, probably change the blades on it while we got it apart and uh, get everything lined out on that. And then we're going to drop it down and do a pressure washer and clean it up. This is every Friday. This is what we do every Friday. We, uh, we, uh, get home and, and uh, clean everything up, grease it, and you can see the skag is a nasty mess also. It's been through the ringers this week too. Buddy. Put that super clean to the test and see how it does cleaning everything up. Let uh, me try some more flash. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Flash? Flash, he don't get much attention. We're going all the time. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. We're going all the time. Yeah, we we went out this morning. We thought we were just gonna have one one to mow, and another guy came in. He was on the house. And, uh, two acre flat. This flat probably did two acre deal. Uh, Cut it mowed in with Toro, and uh, uh, we ended up picking up a little good good man down the road. We were just up there at the local restaurant eating breakfast and uh, he stopped in there. He was talking to Caleb and wanted to know if we was interested in uh, mowing his place and wanted us to go look at it. I told him, I said, uh, he wanted to know if we wanted to ride with him. I said, no, we're going to take our stuff. He said, uh, well, I said, we're going to do it while we're there. And he said, well, I don't know if you are or not, and I ain't heard what you're going to price yet. I said, you'll do it. So I went up there and laid the price to him, which is a pretty good size price there on what we done. But he took it, but it was knee high, and uh, it really, he was tickled to death with it when we got through with it. He's already talked about the stripes. I wish I'd have took some video, but we were so busy on it, I didn't have time. Uh, Caleb didn't have time. Neither one of us. We were all three busy on it. So uh, next time we go, I'll show you what it looks like. That's going to be in a week and a half. We're going to go back. We're going to get him on a schedule, uh, and we're going to do it. Uh, yeah, we're going to. We're doing good. I mean, we're picking up customers. And another thing too, I've been looking at is I'm dropping some customers because 
I'll put them on the schedule, and then uh, and you call or notify them the night before, and then they 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 don't want you to do it, and and I'm just dropping them. I'm letting them go. I'm not going to fool with them. If I if they want something mowed, I'll go to them when I can. And if I can't, then they just have to find somebody else. Uh, I'm not going to run all over the place, uh, mess my schedule up. You may start out, like on Wednesdays, you do a few just so we can go to church on Wednesday and we turn around and end up doing uh, half of that schedule is, uh, well, three of the uh, three of the lawns are there, are the ones that cancel out on us. So we just drop them and I, this one I picked up today more than covers. Uh, what we're leaving, letting go over there. What a lot of people don't understand is, you go out, you got twenty-five thousand dollars tied up in mowers and blowers and weed eaters, and uh, and then all your costs to operate, and uh, it just it's just too much. I mean, you, you can't you can't you can't go on babies. Any boy spraying the super clean on it. We're gonna see how it does, let it set for a little bit. It works good, don't it, Danny? Mm -hmm. Yep, it does, it works real good. We used 800 blower to blow dry it, get it all off. Uh, but as you can see, it looks really good. On the front of the deck, I put some more super clean on it. So it did leave a little bit of a film like with the grass stains and stuff. And what I done, I just let it sit there a few minutes and then just took like a regular brush that you wash a car with and just went across and just swapped it, literally just swapped it and it came off. It wasn't no, I didn't put no pressure on it or anything. But now the Super Clean is really working. I mean, it does an awesome job. It's better than the other stuff we tried because the Super Clean don't leave a film. It does an awesome job. And that's what we we used it once already, but today's the second time we've used it, and we're tickled to death with the way it looks. I mean, because this mower, of course, it's a brand new mower, but when we get through the sky, you'll see what it does for it too. It makes it look like a brand new, and it's got 157 hours on it. And let me get you a little before. Grass built up around the pulleys and stuff. I mean, it's literally not been touched. You can't even start to see the deck size on it or anything, but when we get done with it, you'll be able to see the world different. We'll dry it and, and everything before we, uh, we'll blow everything out first. And then you gonna take the, 800 and blow all the grass off of it.
life of your equipment. This is the life of it. You spend all that money on it. it takes you about an hour or two when you get home on your last day when you finish up your list for the whole week. And uh, it's worth it. I mean, that's all it, it, PM and your equipment is where it's at. I don't care what kind of business you're in, or lawn care, construction, whatever. Your PM is where you wanna get the best use out of your equipment by doing, preventing all other unnecessary downtime. So this is what we do every week. This is the way we do it. It's a part of life as far as this goes. This is as much a part of lawn care as doing the lawn care because if you get on the job, you break down over just not maintenance and servicing and greasing your equipment, then you are asking for trouble. And then you're gonna lose a whole day production and whether it's under warranty or not, it don't matter if you're not mowing. So I encourage each and every one of you to always service your equipment. We do the equipment the way we do our yards. We do them right. We do our best to do them right. But we're going to get ready to do the skag. Nasty skag. We're going to make it a clean, pretty skag. So we'll get back with you in a little bit. Okay, guys. This is after we used the super clean on the skag. And I mean, you can see it looks like a brand new one. The Super Clean does a wonderful job. Now, I did cheat a little bit. Let me tell you what I've done. It may help you if you use it. If I sprayed it on, I used a, before I even sprayed it back off, when I sprayed the Super Clean on, I took a brush, like a car wash brush, and just went across it, just swiping on it and it helped loosen it all up. And all I had to do was just spray it off. Never put no pressure, wasn't no work really into it. But the Super Clean does an awesome job. Now, got the Toro man stand sitting here. Looks like it's brand new again. It just makes sense to me to uh, Keep them clean like this, keep them serviced, keep them looking new. Uh, I mean, it's also advertising. It looks like you take care of your equipment. If you take care of your equipment, they figure you'll take care of your, the jobs that they give you. People keep wanting you to do different jobs. And just like today, we picked one up and they, after I gave them the price, after they seen what we done, they didn't, they didn't uh, ask, they didn't say they'd get back with us. They said, well, come back next time now. Go ahead and put me on the schedule. So, well, that's about it, guys, as far as we're cleaning. We're going to service them. Uh, we always wash them first, then we get in there and we grease them. Uh, we're going to change the blades and uh, get all that took care of. Uh, get them ready for Monday, then we'll put everything up for the weekend. So we'll gonna end the video right here and uh, we'll talk to you later and, and hopefully we get another video or two up and, and if you got any comments, just leave them below and then like, subscribe and leave a comment below and let us know what you think about it. And again, the Super Clean is awesome stuff. I mean, it does a wonderful job. I mean, it, it's not that high, I don't, it's, but it's worth every penny of it. So we'll talk, catch you later. God bless each and every one of you.